Back in October, I asked you guys to comment games down below that you wanted me to add to the random platinum wheel. And now it's January, or later, depending on when you're watching this. But here we are with the seventh episode in the random platinum series. Now it is time to spin the wheel and see what game I'll be platinuming in today's video. Anything but Super Meat Boy. That's all. That's all I ask for. Anything but Super Meat Boy. And we got... Dead Space. Alright, here's the Dead Space trophy guide. I'm going to be playing the remake. It does say it's a 4 out of 10 difficulty. It's gonna take 3 playthroughs and probably around 40 hours to complete. I would like to get a physical copy, but I'm gonna check the PlayStation Store, see if it's on sale for like a cheap price, and then compare it to like eBay and see what I can do. I ended up purchasing a copy of the game from Best Buy for $40 during a Black Friday sale, and after a week it finally arrived, which meant it was now time to jump into the game. In the beginning of the game, we find ourselves crash landing onto the Ishimura, and it is here that we will be residing for 11 hours of the 12 chapters. Now for my first playthrough I decided to go for all the collectibles in the game and in chapter 1 I obtained one trophy and that was for dismembering 50 limbs. Gotta follow this red cord because that's where the power is. And we got the trophy Marksman. That is for dismembering 50 limbs. I knew you weren't dead. I then got the trophy for completing chapter 1. Now we were on to chapter 2, and during this chapter I obtained one trophy, and that was for impaling an enemy. Grab loose objects with kinesis and throw sharp objects at enemies to impale them. I want to impale somebody, who do I impale? Hey, get shut up, get, get, get shit on. I got a little bit too into that, but the trophy was called raising the stakes, and that was for pinning an enemy. Then the trophy for completing chapter 2 popped. And during chapter 3, I did not obtain any trophies besides the trophy for completing the chapter. Now we move on to chapter 4, which I streamed over on my Twitch channel. Go check it out if you want. And during this chapter, I obtained two trophies, and the first one that I got in this chapter was for taking down a brute. Oh shit. Oh what the Fortnite. Ah, I don't want to die! Shoot it in the back! Okay, I have to shoot it in the back. Did I kill it? I did not. Okay. I'm gonna be stuck down here. What's up, man? I don't think he can hit me. I think I'm invincible here. Never mind. I take that back. Yes, there we go. And we got the trophy Brute Force. And what was that for? Probably for killing a brute. There's going to be more than just one of those. I thought that was like a boss fight. I guess it's just going to be a new enemy type that I had to face. The second trophy that I got in chapter four was for eliminating 30 enemies with the pulse rifle. Oh, fuck. I hate these babies. They're so creepy. And we got the trophy Auto Fire. That is for killing 30 enemies with the pulse rifle. Probably my favorite weapon in the game so far. Then I got the trophy for completing chapter four. Now it was time for chapter 5, and during this chapter I obtained one trophy, and it was for collecting 75 logs. Then the trophy for completing chapter 5 popped. I then moved on to chapter 6, and in this chapter I obtained 5 trophies and encountered my first boss fight. But the first trophy that I got in this chapter was for obtaining every single weapon in the game. The Force Gun? What is this? And we got the trophy Full Arsenal, and that is for owning every weapon in the game. The second trophy that I got in this chapter was for killing 30 enemies with the Ripper. Alright, let's equip the saw, because you never know what's going to be out here. Yep, that's what I thought. The next trophy that I got in the chapter was for killing 30 enemies with the flamethrower. I burned this bitch. And we got the trophy live with the hot ones, and that is for killing 30 enemies with the flamethrower. I then got the next trophy after I dismembered my 500th limb. Oh my god! got the surgeon trophy, but I'm a little bit busy right now to see what that's for. Don't ever scare me like that again. But after killing them, that is for dismembering 500 limbs. And now it was time for the final trophy I got in the chapter. And it would unlock after I defeated the Leviathan. I'm about to kill this Leviathan. Oh. My. God. Oh. Damn it. I'm out of health regen, so this is it. I'm trying, but I'm gonna die. Someone help me. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Damn. I ran out of ammo. My second attempt at taking down the Leviathan went a lot smoother now that I knew all of his moves. Come on. I have no clue if I'm doing any damage to it. Oh no. Oh, I did it? And we got the trophy exterminator, and that is for killing the leviathan. I didn't think I was actually damaging it. And after defeating the leviathan, the trophy for completing chapter 6 popped. I didn't obtain any trophies in chapter 7, besides the one for completing the chapter. Now we're on to chapter 8, and in this chapter I obtained one trophy, and to get it, I had to defeat the leviathan once again. Bro, are you serious? I thought we killed it. Time to take this bad boy down. I then headed out into space and began fighting the leviathan. It's so creepy how quiet it is in space. 
Oh no. They destroyed the cannon. That's the last cannon. What else do I do? I just shoot it. Okay. Got the trophy. Get off my ship. That is for killing the Leviathan remnant. Oh my gosh. I was kind of freaking out there. After defeating it, I then got the trophy for completing chapter eight. In chapter nine, I obtained three trophies with the first one being for completing this shooting range. Activate shooting range. Let's show them how good we are. Bang, bang, bang. Bang! Thought you could get me. Oh, shit. Sorry. Shot a civilian. This brings me back to the Modern Warfare 1 video when I had to do that shooting range. Good time. Oh my god. I was not expecting this. You're not a part of the shooting range. You're not supposed to be. Why are you guys here? I have nothing to heal myself. Okay, but we got the trophy front towards enemy, and that is for surviving the shooting gallery. You didn't tell me I was going to get bombarded. The next trophy I would get would be for collecting all of the schematics in the game. But before I did that, I checked up on this soldier right here. Oh, hello. Oh, that's your leg. I see how that's an issue. All right, I'm just going to let you rest in peace, sir. I'm going to go in here. All right. We got a schematic right here. And we got the trophy Merchant. That is for collecting all the schematics. The final trophy that I got in this chapter was for using stasis on 50 enemies. Ah! You're fast as hell. And after that, the trophy for completing chapter 9 popped. In chapter 10, I obtained six trophies, and the first one that I got in the chapter was for creating the master security override. Got ourselves another rig up here. Okay, so that was the final rig that I needed, so now I can build the master security overdrive. Gotta go up to this thing right here with all the rigs that I have. And we got the trophy full clearance, and that is for creating the master security overdrive. The next trophy I got was for picking up this log that completed a side quest. Pick up this audio log right here. I then played some Z-Ball to get the next trophy. This is an interesting game. I don't know how fun this would be in real life. I mean, it kind of seems really easy in the video game. Obviously, it's going to be easier in the video game. Five more points and we have beat level six. We only have seven seconds left though. Oh my gosh. I fit that right in there. And we got the trophy Z-Baller and that is for completing level six in zero G basketball. Then I got the next trophy for picking up my 150th log. Now I got this next trophy while I was inside of a battle as I had to resort to stomp killing an enemy for the 10th time. Die. Then we got the trophy backbreaker. And that is for killing 10 enemies with the stomp attack. Then I got another trophy for completing another side quest. Go suck an egg, dude. And we got the trophy hole again. And that is for pursuing Nicole's investigation. And then after completing the side quest, I got the trophy for completing the chapter. Now we move on to chapter 11. In this chapter, I got two trophies. And the first one that I obtained was for collecting the Peng treasure, which I guess is a running joke in the Dead Space series, but I was unaware of that at the time. All right, so we have another collectible right behind here. Sorry about the body. Didn't mean to do that. Open this up and there is Peng. And we got the trophy, there's always Peng. And that is for finding the Peng treasure. I'm not really sure what this is referencing, but I will take the trophy. Then I got the trophy for installing every single weapon upgrade. You know, before I start doing all this, let me go upgrade my weapons a little bit more. I don't know why the place is shaking, but let's upgrade some of the weapons. And we got the trophy built to order. That is for installing every weapon upgrade. And after installing every upgrade, I got the trophy for completing chapter 11. And now it was time for the final chapter. And in this chapter, I got three trophies. And I ended up getting the first two while in the final boss fight. You want to help me fight it? Or are you going to die immediately? You're going to die immediately. Now, how the heck am I going to beat this thing? Where's the force gun at? Oh my god, we got the trophy pusher. I'm assuming this for defeating 50 enemies with the force gun, but I don't want to check right now because I'm in the final boss fight. Hope you understand. I was close. The trophy was for killing 30 enemies, not 50, but forget that. It was now time to finish taking down the hive mind. Show me your guts. Show me them. One more little thing in that hive mind stomach. I don't know if this is the final part of the boss fight. If it is the final wave, I'll take it. Oh shit. Come on. You have to take it out. Please tell me I got it. I think I killed it. Oh no, I did not kill it, did I? No, I killed it. Let's go. We got the trophy Mindless Prey, and that is for killing the hive mind. And we got the trophy Exodus, and that is for completing chapter 12 on any difficulty setting, and it looks like we made it out. And we got the trophy Set a Benchmark, and that is for completing the game on medium difficulty or above. All right, and after beating the game on medium difficulty, I have 37 out of the 48 trophies. Now, for two of the trophies that I'm going for next, I have to complete the game in New Game Plus mode and get the alternate ending in the game. On top of getting the alternate ending and playing on New Game Plus, I will be going for the One Gun Trophy, which requires me to beat the game using only the Plasma Cutter. As I began my New Game Plus playthrough, a trophy immediately popped as I gained control of Isaac. 
we got the trophy pack rat so it turns out we got this trophy because when i went into new game plus mode it put every single item that i had inside of storage and clearly i had more than 25 items so it gave me the trophy now to get the alternate ending i was going to need to pick up 12 marker fragments and here i was approaching the first one so this right here is the first marker fragment and i have to pick up all 12 to get the alternative ending and we got the trophy marked and that is for picking up a marker fragment for the first time i then made my way through the rest of the game and collected the final 11 fragments all right here is the 12th and final marker fragment now that we have picked it up i believe we have to go into a room and place all 12 down on a table and here we are the captain's room i do not like this but as you can see the markers in the middle and there are 12 little holsters for our marker fragments so let's see what happens when we put these in Okay, nothing happened. Maybe I have to complete the game now. I wasn't sure if I would have to, but it looks like I'm going to have to at least progress my way to the story to see what happens. All right, we're heading to the final boss fight. I'm excited to face off against this beast and then hopefully get the trophy for using only the plasma cutter and getting the alternate ending. All right, we're very close. All it has is one little sack left, just like it did the first time I played it. I don't have any heals left, so hopefully it opens up. Got it. Now we gotta wait for it to grab my feet and we should be good. Okay, this might be a problem. Will I be able to hit it? I'm choking here. Come on. Got it. I always get worried that I'm going to fail sections like that. Thankfully, I did not, though. So now we're going to get to see the alternate ending. And I did not use any weapon besides the plasma cutter. So if I don't get the trophy for only using the plasma cutter, I'm going to be a little bit upset. But also, what's this secret ending? I'm excited to see this. We got the trophy trusted contractor. And that's for completing the game on New Game Plus. Yes, we got the trophy one gun. That is for beating the game using only the plasma cutter. And we got the trophy reunion. And that's for seeing the alternate ending. Gotta build a little something first. It's a surprise, sweetie but I think you're gonna like it. I like that ending, nothing crazy, but it was pretty cool. That ending also could lead into Dead Space 2, which I will be playing. I like this game, so I probably will play Dead Space 2. All right, and after beating the game on New Game Plus, I am now going for the trophy to kill 30 enemies with the contact beam. Now, I believe I've killed around 20 enemies with this weapon, so if I kill a couple more, the trophy should pop. Who wants to be lucky number 30? Do you wanna be it? Sadly, you do not want to be it, but you got me closer. Now, I do wonder this. I am in New Game Plus, so does that reset my kills? Now, since I believed I was really close to 30 kills, I decided to test out the theory and load into my last save I had on my first playthrough to see if I could get the trophy there. I really do think I am close to 30. There's only like probably eight enemies that spawn in, so I better be close to 30. There's one. There's two. Yeah, I only needed two more kills. And that's a trophy full contact. And that is for killing 30 enemies with the contact beam. So the kill count does reset when you go into New Game Plus. The next trophy I was going for was called a Viscerator. And to get it, I had to eliminate 30 enemies with the line gun. Eight, right? Or nine. Shit. Now I've lost track. I continued killing enemies with the line gun. And while doing this, I was just hoping that I was counting correctly. Shit. Reload, reload, reload. Number 28 right here. Only two more kills left. If not, that means I counted wrong and proves that I am indeed an idiot. Number 29 right here. And number 30. Yes. We got the trophy of Viscerator, and that is for killing 30 enemies with the line gun. And that means I counted correctly this whole time and I proved myself wrong. Kind of feels nice. And after I got that trophy, I decided it was time to fully max out my equipment. All right, and here are the final four things that I need to upgrade. One, two, three, and the final one. And we got the trophy maxed out. And that is for fully upgrading all weapons and equipment. Now I was going for a trophy called Wishbone. And to get it, I had to rip off a dangling limb using Kinesis. And I was not really sure how to get this trophy. So I ended up looking it up. And the way to do it confused the hell out of me. So for some reason, these right here should count for the trophy. If I just grab it. If I just grab it. Okay. We got the trophy Wishbone. And that is for ripping off a dangling limb using Kinesis. Doesn't really make sense because those are just suits. I don't really know why that works. I didn't rip anything off. It's not even a body. And now it's time for the final trophy to beat the game on impossible mode now i did attempt this legitimately but there was definitely a skill issue and after failing a decent amount of runs i decided to just do it the easy way i'm focused i'm locked in for this fight i wish i could shoot out more than one at a time but obviously the game doesn't want me to do that open up all right, so I just took out the final one. I do have my contact beam out because I want to be able to take out the final thing with ease. I'm not going to like almost choke it like I did in the New Game Plus playthrough. Okay, maybe I will. I got it. And there he goes. Goodbye. And now we're on the ship and we wait for the trophy to pop. And we got the trophy Untouchable. And that's for completing the game in impossible mode. Definitely did it in impossible mode. Well, actually, I did do it in impossible mode. I just, uh... 
cheese it. That's what it's like being a bad boy. And we got the platinum trophy concordance officer. And that is for collecting all the trophies in the game. And here we have it. All the trophies in Dead Space. Definitely a very fun game. I'm going to be playing the second and third one. I've already ordered them. And yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you're having a good day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. Have a good one.